Hello, hello. Okay. Yes, <laughs> parrots. Hello, creative friends. I am sitting outside on the front decking of my studio because I am about to give you a little studio tour. Well, it's less of a studio tour and more of an open studios tour. So tomorrow I am opening my studio um, to the public for the weekend as part of um, a big sort of like open studios weekend for all the artists in my area who are participating in this. All our studios will be open and people can come and visit. So it's been quite a couple of weeks of preparing for the day. And I thought since I've gotten a lot of it ready, I'll want to also record a video to give you my YouTube people, family, a little tour of my open studios even though you can't come to the physical open studio and this is the first time I'm using this camera and I am going to shoot this thing vlog style so forgive me if things get too shaky but I hope uh, you get a little peek into what I'm about to show you and I'm really excited about tomorrow um, the weather is perfect so yeah let's jump right into the tour Okay, it is springtime here and in the spring, my lovely tree outside my studio is full of leaves and I thought I'll give you a tour of my open studio setup from the outside. So, I'm walking up my front porch and I have sort of, not sure where I was going to put this easel, but uh, I didn't have space inside, so it's right out here. It's a um, big, large poppy painting and then on the outside as people enter they can see my greeting cards that are available and I also have my on sale original um, baskets where people can look through and they're not in sleeves or anything so I have a little sign that says please handle with care so yeah um, the organizer said it's nice to have something on the outside so if lots of people come they have room to move so that's my little outside table on the decking all right so let's enter my studio all right so once you come into the studio i think the first thing um, anyone will notice is these beautiful big tall cathedral-like windows and this studio is actually built by the previous owner. This spot here was a double garage and she converted it into this very gorgeous, charming backyard studio for her art practice. She was a textile artist and I got to inherit this lovely studio. And one day in another video, I'll give you an actual studio tour, meaning like where I put all my supplies, yada yada. But for today, it's gonna be mainly feature, featuring how I set it up for open studios. So, this is my main workstation that I have set it up really, really prettily with my supplies and my paints. I've got a painting there and I've put out some sketchbooks that people can look through. And I thought it'd be nice to interspace these sketchbooks with all my reference books that I love using. Um, all my favorite vintage uh, and irregular books are right here. And I think it just lends a very nice sort of like warm vibe to my studio. Seriously, I love my studio so much and I understand how blessed I am to have this beautiful studio. So um, I'm really happy to be able to show it off this weekend. Um, over here next to the painting table is my computer table and I will be playing my YouTube video. Uh, right now it's stopped playing, but let me just replay this and it's on mute at the moment. This is my latest video, Six Simple Leaves. And I'll just be playing this on repeat. Apparently it's gonna be a useful thing to showcase um, because you know YouTube and making videos is a big part of my work. Um, and then over here is a beautiful, I can't sing beautiful, but it is a really nice vintage TV cabinet that the previous owner left here in the studio. It's made of really beautiful hardwood and it's a TV cabinet because you know, like this old school TV would fit in there. And now it's got all my like packaging supplies and look at these little like side things used to be 
uh, where the remote control goes. Okay, anyway, I won't go into the detail of, you know, storage and stuff, but just wanted to show you this corner here. And then over here, again, a beautiful set of drawers from IKEA. This is the, the IKEA drawers that lots of artists like to have. And then uh, let me go into the actual setup for my all the display. All right, let's start with this. Um, I was inspired to do a little collection just for this open studio. And basically it's just painting um, a bunch of minis of all the fla favorite flowers that I have um, loved painting. So I have gum leaves, nasturtiums, um, lilies, peonies, of course, my favorite irises, and I'm going to be selling them at my open studios for 80 Australian dollars. And it's framed in a very, very cute frame, so it's easy to put straight up onto your wall and also to give this a friend, uh, to friends. I've also got this table. Isn't this a gorgeous table? So it's a little uh, rattan glass table that I got secondhand off Facebook Marketplace. I think it was during COVID and I love how, I love my round tables, right? Round tables is um, a big feature in Asian um, culture. So um, I love that unity of a round table. All right, so we'll go over to this table here and it's uh, my tea towel display. So I made a couple of tea towels um, this year. I made some last year and I made five more this year. So if I don't sell them out, here, I will be putting them on my online shop and I will be also um, doing a couple of Christmas markets towards the end of the year. But I love how these turned out. So these are the new ones this year that I have done. Meadow. Um, this is a repeat of last year because it was really popular and it sold out. It's Dancing Poppies. In a bit, I'll show you the original painting. Tree Peonies. Vintage Roses. Plate of Lemons. So these five are the new ones that I have this year. I've actually ironed them and it's on display if people want to look. And I've got these from a really cool little um, Melbourne uh, lady who does this on vintage, sorry, on organic cotton. Oh my God, super fast turnaround. She got these out in like three days or something and I'm really, really grateful. I'll link her website in my description below if you want to, um, and if you're, you're in Melbourne and you're looking to make some tea towels. Uh, the ones I have up here are the ones left over from last year. I have like two or three pieces each from my last year collection that I'll just put on display. And that's the price for my tea towel and a beautiful vase of flowers that I picked from my neighbor's garden. Um, if you follow me on my channel, you will know that my neighbor is a gorgeous, very, very um, talented, gardener and she grows these amazing flowers and it's a big source of my inspiration over on this side oh wait let me show you the original poppies painting so this one i painted last year and i've featured it on the business cards postcards my website and i'm putting it for sale if anyone's interested to buy a framed piece that's a little mini there and here is a little section that um I reserve for my son because he is a little businessman, artist as well, a little entrepreneur. And he made these really cute lemon paintings when we did the lemonade sale, his lemonade stand a couple of weeks ago. And he also created more really fun watercolor painting. And these also he made yesterday. Uh, just color pencil drawings and he's also priced them already. So he's got what this is like five dollars <laughs> He wrote all the price himself eighteen dollars. Wow sixteen dollars um, So that's his little corner. Uh, I think he's it's super cute All right, so let's move on to this side uh, This is one of my favorite favorite setups of my open studios and I call this Let me see. I've written it down the river walk collection and it's based on the dog walk that me um, and my family, we love to do around here um, in Warburton, the Yarra River, which is also called Birarung in um, indigenous language, Birarung. Uh, it, it is a, it's a walk we do all the time. Um, it is so stunning. It's so inspiring. So I created a collection of 10 paintings and I started out with these sketches, 
which I will show here during open studios and uh, based on them I made these minis 10 minis my favorite one is this one here I think I really captured the composition and the shadows and light really well and that's my little doggy there um, I'm sure she'll be featured in this video she is my shadow literally uh, yeah so this this little corner here is a little local feature basically and they are available in greeting cards I picked four out of these 10 to make into a greeting card set so um, available to purchase okay this tree here um, so a couple of months ago there's a beautiful big gum tree that's in the middle of a car park that the council wanted to just cut down because they said that was posing a uh, a safety threat to the public because it was a, around you know cars and and children and bus stops but a lot of the local people were like no you cannot just tear it down and you know I love this tree it's so grand it's probably three or four hundred years old and you know she's been here way way before uh, human beings uh, or rather settlers came into the region so um, I took a photo of uh, this tree on the day that we did a little meeting around it and one of the local environmental activists, Maya, she put a little monk's rope around the trunk of the tree, which is what they do in Thailand. Um, they put monk's rope around sacred trees and I, I grabbed a photo of it and I came home and I attempted to paint it. And, um, you know, I don't paint trees a lot in my practice so I'm really pleased with how this one turned out and I am putting it for sale because it is a local um, favorite and I'm happy to part with it for anyone who who um, who loves it as well so there we go I'll call it the warby tree and then over here um, it's just a uh, last year I wanted to make an Aussie Natives Christmas card set. So I sat down and I painted four Australian native plants that are red and green, right? The Christmas colors. Um, so what I have here is the Sturt Desert Pea. Uh, you don't really find this in Victoria. It's more of a South Australia uh, plant. The Eucalyptus Gum Flowering Gum. The Warata, my favorite and the banks here. So I made them all into greeting cards. I haven't decided yet if I want to actually um, sell the originals because they're actually kind of cute. Um, but the greeting card set is for sale. So, so that's that. <sighs> mm, okay, what else? Okay, since we're on greeting cards, this is a little table I have set up here to feature all the greeting cards that I am selling um, at Open Studios. And there are actually four different collections. So I have my, what I call YouTube collection, Vintage Florals, Aussie Natives, which I just showed you, and the Yarra River Walk one. So the YouTube collection, what I did is actually these four that you might find familiar if you follow me on my channel and you do my painting tutorials. I picked four of these, um, which are on the wall now. You can see the original on the wall to make into greeting cards because um, I, I just think they're very pretty <laughs> and I think they'll make great greeting cards. So um, you can see the original on the wall and they're all for sale and they're framed, very beautiful. And I say here, as seen on my YouTube channel, I know it's a bit cheesy, it really is, but you know, I couldn't think of another name for this collection. And so they're just single flowers with a white background, but as you turn, they're actually green on the back. So I think that's kind of cute. The other collection here I call Vintage Florals and it's basically based on these ones on the wall that um, you might have seen me paint on my channel when I was in this phase of putting backgrounds into these uh, floral paintings. So 
you know, I've got one with a blue background, roses with a blue background, this one's peonies with a yellow background, this one's mixed with a pink, and then this one is with a cool sort of a turquoisey background. So all the originals are up here for people to see or buy if they like, and the greeting card set here to purchase. So yeah, that's my little greeting card corner. All right, as we go down this wall, there are other paintings that I have chosen to frame because they, well, because I think they're pretty and they're my favorites. So they're all there and they're all priced. And um, if you're interested in purchasing any of my original paintings, I will be putting some up for sale on my online shop after my open studio. So by the time this video comes out, it will probably be already live so you can very easily click onto my website to see if um, any of them are still available and um, they're, they're really affordable I think. So I put a little sign here and you can read it. It says overwhelmed, don't worry, breathe, take it all in slowly. The colors, the shapes and the patterns, enjoy. And this is based on a feedback where when I did a couple of markets last year when people came to my store, they're like, oh my God, there's just so much to see, Crystal. They're just really feeling very overwhelmed. And the last thing I want to do is make people feel stressed and overwhelmed, right? Um, so I just want to encourage everyone who comes to just take their time and just look at each of the paintings slowly and there's no hurry at all. All right, and then right here is a little display stand that I have uh, put some of my originals, mainly the nine by 12, nine by 12 inches. And it's a really cute stand that Jenny, one of my other neighbors, Jenny, I have a lot of neighbors named Jenny, Jenny Devine, um, she said, hey, I have this display, do you want it? And she sold it for me for a really cheap price because she knew that I would be displaying my art. And I'm so glad it's come into, um, into use. So yeah, these are all um, a lot of originals that I painted last year actually and some this year. So you might find them a bit familiar. This is a couch that people or myself can rest on <laughs> when we're feeling overwhelmed. Uh, I'm not sure how much I'll be sitting on it to be honest but I might need to lie on it flat at the end of uh, the open studio. The main thing in the studio is this center table that I just put together two uh, outdoor table uh, together with a uh, white tablecloth. And white is always just a really, really simple, gorgeous background for, you know, colorful, uh, bright, happy sort of like artwork that I, that my style is in. So let me show you what I have on this table. All right, firstly here, I made a little A4 um, uh, poster or info sheet kind of thing um, so people can just read about me. But you know, what I'm learning about all this kind of display is that you just got to find moments to have people rest and, you know, uh, look at and not just overwhelm everyone with just, with just artwork. So that's that there. And I've got my little uh, flyer. So I've decided to uh, open up um, a workshop date for my live in-person workshop. So people can grab a flyer. I'll be doing it next month and it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be held right here. So if you're watching this and you live in the area or you'll be in the Melbourne, Victoria area and you wanna come to my workshop, that's there. Okay. So in these bins or baskets, I have all my original paintings. So I have uh, starting from A4 to 9 by 12, and then you get by 10 by 14. And I've decided to just put the prices on in the bins like this. So uh, a friend, an artist friend came yesterday and she said, I think, you know, it's really good to let people people be prepared to see the prices rather than looking and then getting shocked by prices. And to be honest, I thought a lot about pricing in my art studio or my open studio. 
and I don't want to undercut myself, but neither do I want to price it so high that, you know, it's just unaffordable to most people. And to be honest, I mean, these are just really simple watercolor paintings that uh, if you know how I paint, they didn't take super long to do, but they are still very beautiful and uh, totally frameable. I love them. So I think they're really affordable. All right, this is in Australian dollars. So in, in us, um, uh, in USD, this will be even cheaper. All, a lot of my paintings will go live uh, online for sale after this, but the pricing that you will see on my online shop may be a bit different because I have to, um, you know, think about packaging and postage and all of that stuff. So, uh, but it won't be too far off these prices, all right? And I have more tea towels down there. Um, oh yeah, I wanted to also show you this is a little um, example, I say inquire for wedding bouquet commissions. I haven't been taking wedding bouquet commissions for a while now, but um, I thought I might just, you know, see the interest if anyone's interested in it because I, I can happily do it. It's something I, I don't mind. I love painting flowers and bouquets are easy to do. I've got a little like, um, you know, signboard here which a bit of the pricing i have a bit of space down there i might write a message or two i i don't know if i'll do that yet but let me i'll, I'll think about it as we go around the corner so the originals they get bigger more expensive and i mean i i can stand here and show you every single painting but it's gonna take forever and this video will will never end but um yeah I, I do paint a lot i have a lot of paintings okay and then on this side i have my prints so these are prints that i did from my home studio here with that printer at, at the back um and to be honest i have not done any prints this year so these are all last year's prints so if they've gone down in price they're just 20 dollars for a4 and 35 dollars for a3 prints um really good deal if you want to brighten up your home with uh, a with a print and these sizes are just gorgeous right you can just get them from the store of course i have to mention these beautiful irises from jenny's garden my other Jenny friend, who's my neighbor, uh, it's Irish season now. Just look at that stunning brownish purple color. Oh my God. Okay, and then poppies, also from Jenny's garden. Ah, oh, just gorgeous. I need to paint this. I need to paint this. Okay. Finally, um, this is a little section where I put my 2020 originals in recycled vintage frame. So 2020 was when I started painting flowers and I did my very first market store three months after I started painting. It was for a Christmas market and I thought, you know, uh, I'm not very good at painting yet, but if I source really cute uh, vintage frames from secondhand shop and I pop them into these frames, they will be so cute and people will buy them and people did and I still have a couple from that market three years ago which I thought should I replace them with newer paintings but I thought you know what I'm gonna keep to that whole nostalgia and be true to what I was like where I was um, all those years ago when I first started painting so it's here and I like this corner very much Okay, let's go out this door. So I have two doors and this is another entrance. And right here is a lovely garden um, grassy spot that I'm gonna put up that canopy tomorrow or like a, like a shade. And my son is going to run a little um, kids coloring art section here and people can rest, enjoy the mountain view, so on and so forth. And yeah, that's it guys. Thanks for coming on this little open studio tour with me. And um, I'm really, really excited. It's happening tomorrow and you probably only get to watch this video after it's happened. So um, tune in for when I'm doing it again. I'll probably do it next year. Otherwise, please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video.